When trainers begin to learn to play tug with an older dog or they begin bite work on a dog, they need to either teach someone how to hold their dog on a line or they need to learn how to hold their own dog on a leash while a helper works their dog. This short video is out of the DVD that I'm currently producing with Michael Ellis on how to play tug with your dog. When people have larger dogs where they're bringing these dogs into this system, it can oftentimes be easier if someone else would hold the leash and the trainer can stand out in front of his dog and tease the dog to build drive, can can learn the position on how to take a hit off of a tug. One of the quickest things in the world to talk a new trainer into not playing uh, tug with their dog is to let them go out and get bit. So... If they can learn the moves safely without getting bit, the training will go faster, the dog is going to have more fun, and the trainer is going to have more fun. What we don't want to have in this situation, and again, this isn't necessary for a puppy, but it is necessary for a larger dog and a new trainer, because that new trainer can learn a whole lot of skills while they don't have to worry about their dog jumping all over them and mugging them and running all around them. What we want here is we want the second person to become a post in the ground. We don't want to have a scenario where the dog, if I'm going to be the second person and Cindy's acting as the dog here, Cindy, will you pull on it back and forth? We don't want to have a rubber band scenario with with arms like this because the trainer needs to know exactly where the end of that leash is. Not only do they need to know where the end of the leash is, They need to know where the circle is that they can stay out of so that dog can't lunge forward and grab the tug before you want him to grab the tug. Cindy, will you move it around in just a bit of a circle? We want to be able to have this. We want to be able to have this circle where the trainer absolutely knows where the edge of that circle is. Now, it would be nice if we had a 275 pound, six foot five guy to hold the leash for everybody that wants to train their dogs, but that's not the case. But small people can learn to hold large dogs and become a stationary post. And it all begins with line handling and correct body position. Now, the way to hold the line is to take your line, wrap it around your body so that you have enough extended out to where the handler wants his dog, and usually maybe a little bit like this. You take your leash, if you're right-handed, take your leash in your left hand and anchor it on your hip. Take your right foot, put it at a 45 to 90 degree angle towards where the dog is going to be. Turn your back foot sideways like you see me here. Then hold, bend your legs a little bit. Hold the leash in your right hand. Cindy, will you pull on this? I think you can see that we've got more than a dog here pulling on the leash, and they're not going to pull you off your feet. And they're not going to lunge forward and grab that tug unless you want them to do. And it's not the second, it's not the second handler's job to determine when the bite is taken. It's the trainer's job. Now, that's one way to hold the leash. And if you hold it like this, you're not going to get the rubber band movement like you would if you stood and, and just held it like this. And you see a lot of handlers getting pulled off their feet or doing this, and then she's actually getting that much slack in the end of the line for that dog to pull forward and grab that leash or grab that tug before you want it. Whereas here, Cindy, you're not getting anything. And anybody that has a second handler that stands like this is going to know where the end of that leash is. Now maybe... As the handler gains experience, another way that they can do this is they can take the leash, anchor this, their left hand, on their back of their leg like this, and then Cindy, you can pull there. And this is just another way to do it. Depends on the strength in your hands, but either way is the way that a second handler should handle the leash. If you'd like to watch some of the free streaming videos that I have on my website, you can go to this web address now. I have a number of uh, free streaming training videos and then a number of product videos also.